Alzheimer's disease is the sixth leading cause of death in the United States, with a person developing that disease every minute. University of Kentucky researchers are working towards a cure. In the meantime, they're educating people on how to lower their risks of developing the disease. LEX 18, Sophia Millar has more. And if we can put a man on the moon, we can cure Alzheimer's. Dr. Gregory Yika spoke to a crowd of 70 people, giving tips for what they can do to help keep Alzheimer's and dementia at bay. Dr. Yika revealed results from some of his own studies, listing reading, exercise, and low blood pressure as things to work on to help improve brain health. Three days per week, 30 minutes, that can just be brisk walking. 2025 is the National Institute on Aging's goal for effectively treating the disease. We're finally, after all these years, we're finally funding this. Next slide. The U.S. Senate approved a $350 million increase in funding for the National Institute of Health for the 2020 fiscal year, putting the budget for Alzheimer's and dementia research at $2.8 billion. Dr. Yika says researchers like himself are working day in and day out to meet the 2025 goal. If there's any stone that's been left unturned, we're going to look under it for a new way to treat the disease. In the meantime, he's encouraging people to get involved in clinical trials. Uh, we need everybody. We need volunteers. We need participants. We need the community to understand the things that we're doing, the ways that we can help them clinically, and the ways that they can help us. In Lexington, Sophia Millar, LEX 18 News.